Hi, hi, Catherine, former CEO, and on a mission to get more corporate women to the C-suite and beyond. As I'm preparing a course on digital transformation for the summer, I was reflecting on the responsibilities of a CEO in such an undertaking. Let me distinguish between five types of CEOs. The first one, the startup one, not really a CEO, more of a founder. Greatest attributes are entrepreneurship and perseverance. The second one is a growth CEO. The best attributes here are the market competence, clear vision, strategy on where and how to scale the business. The ability to cooperate and create trust knows how to motivate others. The third one is the restructuring CEO. Has to make difficult decisions, knows how to deal with uncertainty, feels well in it. Fourth, the classic CEO. Knows how to create stability, brings continuity and structure within the play field. The first one is the innovation CEO, new solution products, ventures, unneeded, ability to create a safe environment where the status quo can be questioned, and the willingness to take risks. So let me recap. The entrepreneur, the growth, the restructuring, the stability, and the innovation CEO. So before you embark in any change or transformation initiatives, always get a good feeling of what the CEO and his or her type is and trust your gut because the implication on the initiatives are going to be really huge. Let me give you personal examples of corporations I've worked with. Lou Gessner, IBM, was a growth CEO and you could feel how the focus on the products, the service ranges was essential for its ability to lead within the IT sector. In 96, when I joined Grace a year before Peter Grace died, he spent his entire life in horizontal growth. And after he passed away, Al Costello was nominated. And just looking at his picture, I knew he would dismantle the company. And his sole mission within Grace was to do it. So it was the death of the oldest companies with Dupont at that time. Bernard Lacoste joined Ismica as their first outside CEO. The founder had decided to be to remain the chairman of the board solely. And even if we accomplished successfully the major SAP implementation part in a record time, he didn't care about our project because his vision was on growth and putting the company in a different position to sell it. Miracle's founders were great guys, created a remarkable and revolutionary ERP at that time, but were unable to bring stability within the operations. They were so convinced that their ideas and vision were the only right ones that they forgot they had created a company with over 100 people. And within four years, they went bankrupt from the idea to being bankrupt and endangered, by the way, some clients of bankruptcy too. In 2006, when Dale Gifford, CEO and chairman of Hewitt Associates, stepped down, everyone was so, so sad. He was someone so relatable and human. And his successor, Russ Fraden, and I encourage you to look at his curriculum because it's very interesting. When you heard him speaking, at least I was seeing a wolf. Two years later, under his leadership, the company wasn't the same anymore. The trees were shaken, fear having replaced previous collegiality. Four years later, the company was sold to Aon. So before you engage your time, your effort, and your sweat in whatever initiatives you're working on, always put yourself in a leadership mindset. Have a look at the political landscape and see in which direction you should be moving and where it is worth in doing so. Let me quickly come back to the different CEO types. The classic CEO is gone nowadays. We don't need him or her anymore. The innovation CEO is a misleading term because a CEO cannot and should not drive innovation. It is way better to ramp up your teams in such a way that they are in charge of innovation, that you bring outside people. Hence, your role there is to create, as a CEO, a safe place, take risks and readapt the company's structure accordingly, go out and make ventures, 
Yeah, we're talking about the CEO as a general term without making this distinction what he or she real mission is. See you soon.